Hello and welcome to Oracle Tarot. My name is Amelia. This is going to be a reading for Leo. Leo, I am in southwestern Ontario right now and the sun is just going down and we're going to do a creativity reading for you today. This is a reading that I attempt to tap into your creative energy and whatever events are occurring for you um, in the month of April. You do not have to be an artist to watch this reading, but it is meant for people working with creative energy. So if you are a healer, if you're working on a project of some kind, this could be a reading for you. Okay, Leo, we're going to pull three cards and clarify them right now. So we've got... This card actually came out um, upside down. I don't normally do reversals, but it's it's actually quite a good card in reverse. It means renewed action. So we have some people, we have some players here. We have the Queen of Pentacles, one of my favorite cards. She is a boss. She does not mind taking up space. She is an achiever. If she wants something, she can go out and get it. If she needs something, she'll find a way to acquire it. We have this Knight of sort of Page of Rods, which can be a little jerk sometimes. <laughs> it could be a young person who is fired up with energy, or it could be a message. We'll get back to the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is, uh, when it's like this, it's called Truce, okay? And when it is reversed, it can mean, like, I don't really read reversals because my philosophy of tarot is that the tarot card is like, it's any meaning that comes to you in the moment, whatever you feel, right? Um, so I feel like that card for you is saying you've had, uh, something has been dormant in your life and it's just coming back online, okay? Some part of your life. So I wanna find out what part is, is coming back to you, is going from sort of a resting state to a more active state. Maybe I've been missing out on uh, a lot of the meanings just reading cards upright. Maybe I'll think about reading them reversed sometimes, okay. All right, Leo, your last reading that I just did for you that will be coming out shortly was about a search for freedom. Maybe that's what this is about. Maybe you are starting to move in a direction in life again. So let's find out about this Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is helping you move in that direction because she's making things happen for you. Messages, travel, uh, situations and opportunities that are moving, okay? Movement is the key here. Just like in this card, it's, it's like a renewed action, okay? All right, so we're gonna clarify this page of rods. Gosh, I'm so happy. I finally got my camera angle almost. I want you to be able to see the cards down here too. I'm just not there yet. <laughs> Maybe in the future I will figure out something. All right, so the Page of Swords for Leo has something to do with uncertainty, okay? So this is the crappy part of April, is there's going to be a moment where you might get a message from somebody and it might, rather than make things clear, like what a message is supposed to do, it might give you some concern, some worry, or just some doubt but uh, we're headed in this direction here, so there's nothing to fear, okay? Let's see what is, is coming of this. Let's, let's find out more about this renewed action after a period of dormancy or rest for Leo. So you've got the emperor, okay? You've got somebody in your life who's come back in and they're going to they're going to be a part of a project that you're doing. I don't know if you're involved in an art show or some sort of project where you're preparing something. Um, but I think this emperor is showing up to say, okay, it's time now. This is actually time. You're going to be getting a message definitely saying it's time. And it could happen rather quickly in the month of April. 
Okay, well that's all looking really good. I mean, your your cards are looking strong. You've got some major arcana there and you have a queen. Um, but I'm still very confused. I need more information. I want to know what is this page and moon situation here uh, where you might be getting some information that is going to be obscured or perhaps you're waiting for information and it's not coming in. So let's find out about that. Card to flip over. Okay, so this eight octaves, all this means is it means obscurity. <laughs> that's so strange because that's the card I pulled for the moon. Okay, there's going to be some obscurity, but do you know what this card means to me? This card means freedom to me because. When it's cloudy out, I have a I have a brain injury and I have I can't be under the sun very much. So this when it's eight octaves means total obscurity. Okay, it's a weather term. It means total cloud. You're going to be getting a message, and there's going to be a time of uncertainty or um, cloudiness. Okay, but this fell out as well. This is a quote from the Dalai Lama: "Love is the absence of judgment." Okay. So just have faith through that period of uncertainty because there's going to be some renewed action in your art career, Leo, or whatever it is you're working with, that is going to bring you this sort of solid energy where you're just like, here I am, I'm here, I got to seat at the table like everybody else, I'm not flinching, I don't have any doubt. This queen doesn't have doubts either. She's very good at taking up space. You don't need to worry when this queen shows up. And she, look what she's bringing. Swift change. Important things. News. Important things that you need to, to hear and understand. In the middle here, we have this uncertainty. We have this time of fog. It's temporary, okay? And it's leading you to renewed action towards getting to your goals, uh, whatever they may be. Love is the absence of judgment. Try during this period of uncertainty, try not to make up your mind about anything, okay? Just try to trust, if you can, that um, this emperor energy is, is actually the right energy for you. You could also be dealing with an Aries person who's significant. Um, but it's like, you know, you've been waiting for something for a long time, and when it when when it comes into effect will be at a time that you are prepared okay you are ready for this to come into effect for this emperor energy to come into effect um i don't really have a lot more to say this was a very succinct uh reading it felt very sort of um matter of fact when i was channeling it or whatever whatever i do um Let's pull one more card. I, I would really love a symbol for you. Sort of keep you, um, to guide you through that period of uncertainty with, with that moon energy, okay? It can be like if you're waiting for money or something, you know, like it's not a good feeling. Nobody wants to wait for money. But I'm not getting money in this reading. I'm just getting like some sort of authoritative answer and we got a symbol we got a symbol we got a reiki symbol are you a healer are you going to see a healer are you in need of healing this reiki symbol this is what's offered to people once they complete their like level one or level two their uh, a reiki practitioner and teacher will give you a symbol maybe you're leveling up spiritually maybe you're healing people um but whatever you're doing, I think you're going to be looked at as an authority. Very, very cool. Wow. Okay, Leo. Well, this has been a really fun and interesting reading for me. And I, I, hope, I hope I hear from you. I love to hear from my viewers about whether things are making sense or not. And I wish you absolutely nothing but the best. Take care.